Last month's presidential election in Colombia ended with no candidate receiving enough support to win the election outright. So it's back to the polling booth for voters. They will be choosing between the top two finishers, incumbent Juan Manuel Santos, and the man who actually took the most votes, his opponent, Oscar Ivan Zuluaga. Both candidates have similar policies, but diverge considerably when it comes to dealing with the revolutionary armed forces of Colombia, the extremist rebel group better known as FARC. Zuluaga has campaigned heavily on taking a more hardline stance on FARC, only to have a change of heart in the last few days. CCTV's Michelle Baguet has more. Colombia's former finance minister, Oscar Ivan Zuluaga, was victorious in the May 25th presidential elections, taking 29.25 percent of the vote against 25.68 percent of incumbent president Juan Manuel Santos. Now the two will face off in a runoff. In a few days, we're going to decide if we want more of the same or if we want to change Colombia for the better. If we want to continue with a country that is more insecure or if we want to build a country with more security, confronting terrorism and drug trafficking. President Juan Manuel Santos congratulated the Zuluaga campaign for the win and challenged him to debates in the weeks leading up to the runoff. Santos presents himself as the candidate of peace, who is trying to end 50 years of armed conflict through negotiations in Havana with the rebel group Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, also known as FARC. Vamos a demostrar que we will show that we're determined to end a half-century-old conflict of pain and blood. That you can bet on us for an inclusive country, a modern country, a united country, a country without war. Zuluaga has recently dropped his threat to end talks in Havana. However, he continues to say that if he is elected president, he will insist that the FARC agree to a unilateral ceasefire. Colombians are just as divided as the candidates on what is needed to achieve peace in the future. The people are tired of giving the FARC prebendas after all human rights violations they have committed, all the humiliation they've put us through. I would like Santos to continue to give us what he promised, a peace process. Peace is reached through opportunities, because the violence that we have is due to lack of opportunities, lack of education, and lack of housing for the people.